We start with what's been just an unprecedented day for the world as we move closer to defeating COVID-19. For starters, we've just learned AstraZeneca's vaccine proves to be effective in preventing severe cases of COVID-19, but questions remain on how well it works in older people. Bloomberg Intelligence's senior pharmaceutical analyst Sam Fazelli joins me now from France. Sam, it's great to have you on Quick Take today. Initial data from Astra and Oxford last month raised some concern. So, so what changed in this second analysis of the results? Um, hi. Uh, actually, not much to my eyes. The, the headline numbers are still the same. And when you start looking through the, digging through the data, it, it, I think the best phrase I can use is that it's a bit of a mess. Mm. You've got, uh, I, I know that's not a very scientific phrase to use, but you've got so many cuts of the data being shown here. And in some groups, it doesn't work as well. It's not necessarily that the low dose standard dose worked better because of the uh, fact that they were younger people, because when they looked at the standard dose plus standard dose in the that same age population, it didn't work as well. So maybe they're right that a lower dose and then a full dose is the right way to go. Hmm. So is that, that is that needs to be? Yeah, go, go ahead. It needs to be proven. It needs to be proven in another trial set up specifically for that purpose, I think. So how does that change the timeline of the availability of AstraZeneca's vaccine? Because we know that according to Bloomberg's vaccine tracker for, uh, that, that came out just last week, a, a massive number of these doses have been ordered for many countries around the world. Absolutely. This is not, none of what I'm saying says that the vaccine is ineffective. That's not at all the case. There's lots of evidence of efficacy in various populations, etc. I'm just a bit confused what the regulators are going to approve it for. Uh, what, what dose will they approve? The low dose, standard dose, or the standard dose, standard dose? What interval would they approve? Because when you look at the paper that were published, the time interval between the two doses was quite variable. Um, and it did show a difference between what, they, what the time, the time interval you should do. And then lastly, um, which group of people will they approve it for? Will they go for the younger population at the lower dose? That's the thing that I that I that I don't get. But it's a vaccine that um, has easy transport because it uses just a normal fridge, and um, is effective. Yeah, and it also doesn't have to be. It it, it 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 it's a lot less expensive, I think, too. And there are more doses of it too. Um, Sam, I I, I wonder uh, about the timing of another study potentially, and and just how this ties into vaccinating Americans by by mid twenty twenty one. Yeah, so for the U.S., this is going to be quite interesting if you just focus on the U.S., because the trial was obviously conducted in Brazil and, and the U.K., and maybe the Europeans will accept the data and, and go through the analysis themselves. For the U.S., it's tough because they have to decide whether they want to accept this data from a U.K. trial or a Brazil trial, or will they want to wait for the phase three data in the U.S. ongoing trial to report, which would be sometime in Q1. And if they do that, then of course you have to assume that that's going to work, but that's standard dose, standard dose, right? Um, it's possible that they won't have enough doses of vaccine in general to get to the promised full vaccinations by the middle of the year. We also saw today the UK administer its, its first doses of the vaccine. Look, as a, as a senior pharmaceutical analyst, what goes through your head when you see those, those images, that video, Sam, of people getting their first vaccines just months after we learned about this virus? Yeah, I, mean, I don't have a problem with that. I'm a, I'm a scientist by background. The science has been done correctly. You are, if you're wanting to find out about all the key rare, very rare side effects, nobody should get vaccinated for another two years while we wait and see whether there was a rare side effect. And in fact, you won't find them in trials. You have to go into a million people to find them. So I'm not bothered by that. I'm really excited to see that, that the data that I've seen, I've just seen the FDA review of the Pfizer data. It looks pretty good. There's no red herrings or red signals, sorry, in there. So I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable. We don't know how well the vaccine will work in the long term. Only the long term will answer that question. Yeah, well, when will we know about that? Well, you're just going to have to wait for another six months, nine months, 12 months as the data is gathered to see how those people who are vaccinated are responding in the bigger, wider world and those who are on placebo. Of course, as placebo patients will be offered the chance to take a vaccine, that becomes harder to assess. So 
ultimately, the first aim is let's try and stop people from getting into hospitals. We will see that in the data. The UK, the first uh, Western country to be administering these vaccines, certainly reaching a big milestone. Um, what can other countries learn from the way the UK did this so quickly? Uh, nothing, really. The UK <laughs> used this, a process of their own. The European Union has got well, We're talking two or three weeks differences here. The FDA will be potentially Thursday or Friday. Nothing really there. I, th I think... Um, I think the FDA has got the most stringent methodology that it applies. It does its own analysis. And uh, we'll just wait and see how that goes. That's not to take away from the quality of work that the MHRA in the UK has done and the Europeans will do. They're just different processes. Bloomberg Intelligence is Sam Pizzelli in France. Sam, thanks as always for your time and for joining us on Quick Take. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.